because I was so eager to get friends and to make friends and to have close relationships in LA that I was just kind of settling for just certain people who just should have never been in my life anyway. This video is a get ready with me slash Q&A. So today as I'm filming this, it is Sunday, August 30th, which is the birthday of one of my closest friends who lives in LA. So I'm gonna be getting ready to spend time with him for his birthday while also answering some of you guys' questions. So currently it's August 2020, but in August of 2019 is when I officially moved to LA. So now it's been an entire year of me being here. So I have put on my Instagram for you guys to ask me questions and they could have been of anything, but a lot of the questions were based around me living in LA, my experience, and like how I felt about it and everything like that. So I'll be answering those questions today while I get ready. But before the video starts, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter and they're always linked in my description box below and I post on Monday. So subscribe if you wanna join the Eli Army, which is what I call all of my subscribers. But that's it for me, so let's just get on to this video. Okay, so for the first question, somebody asked how long did it take you to make new friends? And honestly, I feel like the people that I am close with right now and I consider to be my homegirls, my friends, my close friends, people that I would consider to be like around for a while. I would say I met them basically right when I moved here. But that's because they were like my sister's friends and like my sister introduced me to them and then they kind of became my friends. Originally, I didn't think that like I would become close with my sister's friends because I just felt like they, you know, they were my sister's friends and when we hung out, we only hung out because, you know, they was friends with my sister. But I just, I guess, developed my own relationship with them. So it's kind of more like we're all friends instead of just like, I'm just here just because you know my sister kind of thing. Somebody else asked me what do I like the most about being in LA? And I would say the thing I like the most about being in LA is the freedom. I'm 19, I moved here when I was 18. And after moving here, this was the first time I ever had to really have real, real, real responsibilities. Like this is the first time I ever paid my own rent. This is the first time I got my own apartment. This is my first time I was ever on my own. This is the first time I ever didn't have to get somebody else's permission to do just regular things, I guess. So yeah, I think my favorite part of being here necessarily isn't like an LA thing, but it's just more of the fact that because I moved from a different environment, I have so much more freedom now. Somebody asked me what do I miss about Cleveland, which Cleveland, Ohio is where I'm from. And I would definitely say the thing I miss the most are my friends. I'm really big on friendship. I love my friends to death. Like my friends are like my family. So the fact that like majority of my friends, my closest friends are all in Cleveland, Ohio still. So it's just kind of just like, that's what I miss the most, my friends. And because of the whole pandemic and everything like that, you know, my friends really couldn't travel to come see me. Somebody said tips for homesickness. And that's honestly something I feel like I need tips on for homesickness. I don't really get homesick like I did when I first got here. I just feel like the longer you're here, you know, the more comfortable you're gonna be with being alone or being away from your home. And so I feel like that was kind of like the thing that I feel like made me less homesick was just the more time I had to get used to me being just alone without my friends being here, without like my family being here and stuff like that. So I would just say time. I will also say like things that you like miss about your hometown, try and embody those where you are in your current environment. Like for example, like if you used to go hiking back home like find like a trail like where you're at now to go hiking it may not be the same it may not be the same aesthetic same look same area you know obviously they can still remind you of home you know what I'm saying for me well, the only thing I really missed about Cleveland is my friends so me I would just make sure I talk to my friends more often I would make sure I stay in touch with them I FaceTime them I call them all the time I text them which I feel like really helped my relationships with my friends because I feel like honestly even though I was scared that distance would negatively affect my friendships I feel like like distance high key positively affected some of my friendships because even though we had distance from each other we kept closer contact with each other than we did when we could just see each other anytime because we can't see each other just anytime someone asked how hard has it been to book shoots photography slash modeling so for me personally before I moved here I reached out to a lot of photographers trying to you know get my name out there and to see like you know who would want to work with me and stuff like that and a lot of people just didn't respond to me. They just, I guess, wasn't interested <laughs> in my gig. And it really kind of got me discouraged for a while when I first got here. But at the same time, I wasn't discouraged when I first got here because I was still doing shit. And when I first moved here, I was actually 
actually kind of motivated because I feel like even though I was getting like no's or like just completely being ignored, I feel like I was still doing stuff. Like I almost was in New York Fashion Week last year. I got submitted in Vogue Italia several times and I got to meet some cool photographers and I got to finally like work on my own photography. So it was really cool. I feel like being out here definitely matured me and I feel like I have a more clear vision on what kind of people I want to work with instead of being so desperate to shoot just because, you know, they may have a lot of followers or they may be a really cool brand, you know. I feel like the kind of people I wanted to shoot with kind of shifted and just my perspective on modeling and photography shifted. So yeah, technically it was kind of challenging at first, but at the same time, there was always people who still wanted to shoot with me. Somebody asked what's one thing I don't like about LA. I would say, I guess how hard it can be to make friends. I feel like everybody's in their own bubble. Everybody's doing their own thing. And I want to say a lot of people, like a lot of people in LA, like I'm speaking to everybody because I've only been here a year and I don't know everybody, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like some people I came into contact with being out here just don't really seem genuine. Like they genuinely care about you. I feel like certain people I like came into contact with who like I wanted to be friends with or who wanted to be friends with me had like an alternative motive to why they wanted to like, you know, be my friend. It wasn't just genuinely because they liked me for me. It was more of like, oh, like you have a car. Oh, you got this. Like, oh, you have that. Like, let me, I guess, leech off of you. That's kind of the gig it gave me like certain people just rub me the wrong way and I definitely feel like I was low-key high-key actually settling for who I let be my friend when I first got here because I was so eager to get friends and to make friends and to have close relationship in LA that I was just kind of settling for just certain people who just should have never been in my life anyway like for example I had a really close friend and she isn't black and she would say the n-word all the time that should have never been a situation I was even in. Like, I feel like if I was back home, I would have never even been her friend in the first place. And it's the fact that like, like, I didn't check her to begin with, but I feel like I was just like, I don't know, I feel like so thirsty or eager to have like friends in my life that I just let certain shit slide because I didn't want to lose her because I thought she was a cool girl, but no, no. Like, that would have never slid back in the day. She would have never had the opportunity to be my friend if that's what she did. And I ended up telling her too that like, you know, it made me uncomfortable when she would say the N-word and how she shouldn't be doing that. And she really kind of was just more upset at the fact that I didn't tell her sooner versus the fact that like, instead of her like apologizing for even using the word. So yeah, I would definitely say that certain people here can be weird. <laughs> But yeah, somebody asked me how long did it take me to get adjusted to being here? And I would honestly say, I feel like it took me an entire year to be fully adjusted. I feel like this month in August of this year is, I finally feel content. Like I finally am like, okay, like LA's cute. LA's a cute girl. I can, I can stay here for a minute. Yeah, I feel like it took me like literally a year. I feel like before this year, I've had my times where I was just like, no, fuck this place. It's too stressful. I high key don't want to go home because I just can't imagine living in Cleveland again unless I was like old, but I don't know where I want to go next. I really don't. Somebody asked me what's my favorite song currently. My favorite song right now is a song called Big Racks. It will be featured in my next music playlist video, but I'm gonna just put the little picture right here right now just so you guys can get into it soon because this is a banger. I play this song all the time, way too much. Somebody also asked me who's an upcoming artist that I love and I have a couple of them. One of my favorite upcoming artist is my friend actually. Her name's Fanyana and she makes music. She just dropped a single called Proud of Me this month. So you guys should all listen to that because her music's phenomenal. Also my friend that his birthday today, Mo, he makes music as well. He just dropped a single this month called Birthday. So you guys should also listen to that. Those two are some of my fave upcoming artists. Also there's another artist named Miles. He makes really good music. You guys should also listen to his music because he makes great music. <laughs> so yeah, those are my three upcoming artists. Honestly, I feel like I'm so grateful that I did move here because I feel like I've grown, matured so much in my time being here. And I didn't go to college out here, but I'm actually also grateful I didn't go to college. Not saying I won't ever go to college, but I'm glad I haven't went yet. Especially how like this year and everything has turned out. I would not want this to be my freshman year going into college. Well, technically I'll be in my, I would be in my sophomore year now, but 
but no, I'm, I'm really glad I didn't. I've just been able to freely do as I please. And like Billie Eilish said, I'm in love with my future and I'm, I can't wait to meet her. And yeah, I think those are all the questions I'm gonna answer in today's video. Okay, so that was the end of the video. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to comment down below any other video suggestions you may have for me. Don't forget to hit the post notification bell if you wanna be notified when I post. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna join the Eli Army, which again is what I'll call all of my subscribers. But that's it for me, so bye guys.